SRTR's offer acceptance metrics are designed to evaluate how likely a transplant program is to accept an offer they receive for an organ from a deceased donor. Not all deceased donor organs are alike. Programs that are willing to accept more deceased donor organs may be getting more transplants done. Offer acceptance metrics also evaluate the program's likelihood of accepting offers for certain categories of higher risk organs. There are several places to find SRTR's offer acceptance evaluations. The first place to locate offer acceptance evaluations is on interactive PSR page here. The second is on the PDF version of the program specific report or PSR in table B11 and figures B10 through B14. And the third is on the QSUM page of the Secure site. For all three resources, it's helpful to know what offers are counted. Here's how SRTR breaks it down. In the interactive version of the program-specific report, on the Offer Acceptance tab, you will find the following measures. Number of offers, number of acceptances, expected acceptances, offer acceptance ratio, 95% credible interval, and the same measures are found in Table B11 and Figures B10 through B14 of the PDF version of the program-specific report. Only offers for organs that were eventually accepted and transplanted by a program are included in the evaluations. This means that offers for eventually non-utilized organs are not included. Offers to candidates listed for multiple organs at the program are not included in the offer acceptance evaluations. Only organs your program accepts and transplants are counted as acceptances. A provisional yes or a decline are not counted for or against the program if an offer higher on the match run was accepted by another program. The probability the program would accept the offer is derived from a statistical model evaluating national acceptance for similar offers to similar candidates. The factors used to estimate expected acceptance probabilities include a number of candidate and donor characteristics, and you can find those statistics in the Risk Adjustment Model for Offer Acceptance on www.srtr.org under Tools, Offer Acceptance. The expected probabilities of acceptance for each offer is summed to arrive at a total number of expected offer acceptances. The program's final offer acceptance ratio is calculated as the observed number of acceptances plus two divided by the expected number of acceptances plus two. You can find this offer acceptance QSUM on your program's secure website. The offer acceptance QSUM provides a trajectory of acceptance practices over time and a separate summary of recent acceptance practices within certain subgroups. The charts are viewed similarly to the post-transplant charts, but there are several differences. Unlike the post-transplant observed minus expected charts, it is expected minus observed, flipped, so the line trends upward to indicate a negative trend to mimic our post-transplant QSUMs. Unlike the post-transplant charts which have three years of data, the cohort range here is only four months, and every month, new charts are created with a new data set. You may see dates indicated in the range that are not exactly the end of a month, such as August 28th rather than August 31st, because when creating the offer acceptance QSUM charts, the process uses the match run submission date. On the offer acceptance charts, the line moving up indicates below average acceptance, moving down indicates above average acceptance, this program accepted 7.5 fewer offers than expected during the four-month cohort. But was this meaningfully below average? Because the expected minus observed QSUMs may trend up or down a bit due to random chance, programs may wonder whether an apparent trend in the E minus O QSUM is likely due to chance or likely due to something under the control of the program. The one-sided QSUM charts check whether a negative trend in the E minus O QSUM would be unusual if entirely due to chance. So it's most helpful to review the charts as a pair. 
The one-sided QSUM attempts to answer whether there is enough evidence to suggest the program's offer acceptance is significantly lower than expected over the four-month period, which means action is needed to correct a negative trend. If the blue line reaches the red signal threshold, then we have accumulated enough evidence to conclude statistically significantly low offer acceptance over this period of time. In this example, where the trend line hit the signal line, the program's offer acceptance was significantly below average. This is a large program's expected minus observed chart with relatively average acceptance during the first three months. Then, the line begins to climb. How important is this sudden increase during the last month shown here? The one-sided chart will answer that. The acceptance was extremely below average during the last month and caused the QSUM to signal twice. SRTR also provides a table summarizing the offer acceptance for certain types of offers on the QSUM chart page at the bottom of the page. The date range for this table is the same as the default range of the charts. The Membership and Professional Standards Committee, or MPSC, reviews transplant program offer acceptance practices using select metrics. The MPSC criteria for offer acceptance for adults is greater than 50% probability that the offer acceptance rate ratio is less than 0.3. For pediatrics, it is less than 0.35. There is also a yellow zone criteria for a pre-flagging. Basically, it is similar to the flagging criteria with just the acceptance ratio set at a slightly lower bar. The yellow zone is 50% probability that the acceptance rate is less than 0.4 for adults or less than 0.45 for pediatrics. The data the MPSC uses is provided by SRTR in table B11, which we mentioned earlier in this video. MPSC will consider the overall offer acceptance ratio, also shown visually in figure B10. SRTR produces a report that shows how a program is being considered according to the MPSC criteria. This report will alert you to the fact that you may be flagged or in the yellow zone. It is the MPSC review summary and it's found on your current reports page of your secure site. We hope that this information has helped you become a bit more familiar with the offer acceptance metrics and how to review them to assist your program in accepting more offers. SRTR will continue to provide more educational materials in the future on offer acceptance and other topics. For more information or to answer questions about any of the data, reports, or tools SRTR provides, contact us by email at srtr at srtr.org. Connect with us on Twitter and LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more informative videos like this one.